I picked this up from a yard sale. I paid 20 and I sold it for $1,200. Wow, they just keep coming. This video. Oh. <laughs> hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and flip for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I posted this, Share Your Best July Bolo, in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which looks like this, and I invited everybody to share their bolos. So let's get started here. All right, this first one comes from Bolo Buddies member She Picker. This is her eBay store and her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. Um, she said, I went to this amazing estate sale last summer. It was loaded with tables of 1960s and 70s handmade hippie clothes. All were a dollar each, so I bought all that were in good condition. This dress is cutter than a newborn pup, and it sold for 18 plus shipping. What? I think there's a typo here. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. What time is it? <laughs> oh. This might go to the bloopers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, you just read things too fast. And anyway, this dress is cuter than a newborn pup and it sold for $18 plus shipping. Wow. 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 Way to start the video. Um, vintage 70s mini dress girls, orange, yellow, brown, boho, checkered hippie. This is what it looks like. The next one here, bought at a Goodwill in California, paid $3.50, sold for full asking price in a few minutes. I priced it a little low because one corner of the packaging was damaged. New in box, brother label maker, model PT65, green P-Touch, portable pro home hobby. And this is what it looks like. I picked this up from a yard sale. I paid 20 and I sold it for $1,200. What? Leslie Super Typhon Train Horn. 20 into 1,200. Are your socks, where are your socks? Did I just knock them off? <laughs> where did your socks land? Oh my goodness. Wow. I bought this golf simulator game at an estate sale slash yard sale for 50 cents. Oh my goodness, you guys get ready. Get ready to look for your socks again. Like if only one flew off, the other one, it's going to be gone. I posted it on eBay for 967 and sold it within four hours for a best offer of 826. 50 cents into 826. Interesting tidbit. It was the last hour of the sale and they were actually getting ready to throw it away. So I bought it. I had no idea what it was until a few days later. I couldn't believe it until it sold. The person that bought it left feedback that it worked great and they were happy with it. It is a Sky Track Golf Simulator used Tiger Woods hole in one. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow, they just keep coming. This video, oh my goodness. Got this E&J plush husky dog at the Goodwill bins. I had been on the hunt since watching Bolo Buddies videos. Couldn't believe it when I saw it. Was just hanging over the clothes bin. Paid about a dollar for it when averaging all I spent that day. Listed it on eBay for auction. Started at $3.99 and ended up selling for $540 plus shipping. Shipping was $59.50, so the buyer was all in for $635.57. Yes, this is one that I have talked about in my Big Money Plush Bolo videos. Congratulations, you found the Husky. That is awesome. Wow. 
All right, this next one. I got this at my local thrift store last week. I paid 25 cents and it sold in two days. I had it listed as Pretty Kiki's Haberdashery. Dashery? I don't know what any of that means. For 20, took a best offer of 17 plus shipping. It's a 2007 Simplicity 3639 sewing pattern. So it is a sewing pattern. So 25 cents into 17 plus shipping. Purchase this set of antique cardboard farm animals from a yard sale for $3 a little over a month ago. Sent a $75 offer to Watcher and they accepted right away and they paid right away. I just started selling at the end of June. This was my most exciting sale so far. Thanks for the great content. It has been a huge help to me. You're welcome and thank you and congratulations on your big money bolo. It says very hard to find full farm set antique vintage cardboard stand up animals from 1944. I found these pencils toward the end of an estate sale. I paid five for all three and sold the same day. I even received a message offering more money if it had not sold yet. Oh yes, pencils are a bolo. Um, if I find vintage pencils, they are going on auction and I am starting them high. I'm gonna look at comps and I'm gonna find the highest comp I can find and that is where I'm gonna start my auction because it only takes two people to really want those pencils and they are very, very collectible. So keep that in mind if you find vintage pencils. 32 vintage pencils, uh, slide boxes, Mongol, Eberhard, Faber, firm lead. It's hard to see, it's very, very small, but those, uh, the Eberhard and Faber are both things that I've mentioned in videos before with pencils. They're good brands. If you see those, look them up. If they're cheap, Grab them, pay, and get out of there. <laughs> Make sure you always check the stuffed animals for puppets. Got this from Savers for $2 after military discount. Sold after one week for full asking price of $45. It is Darcy Lynn Petunia Puppet Ventriloquist Plush Bunny Rabbit. And this is what it looks like. Here's another plush. And if you guys like plush videos, I'm also um, doing videos just like this where I feature plush bolos from members of this group. It seems like a lot of people in the group sell plush and they sell it for big money. So um, got lots of those videos coming your way. So check them out. Bought this 22 inch Grover at Value Village for $2 listed on Poshmark for 50 and took a best offer of 45. And it looks like this is Canada. So I'm not sure what that um, conversion is. Bought this Willy Talk ventriloquist doll at the Goodwill for $3.03 and thought someone would really appreciate him. His mouth mechanism was a bit loose, but he still sold for $65 plus shipping. Weird ventrilo <laughs> ventriloquist puppets sell. Always look up the weird and this is what it looks like. And that sold on Mercari. And if you guys are not on Mercari, definitely check it out. Um, Mercari is a great platform, especially for plush and toys. Uh, those are things that I do well with over there. And I featured a lot of people who sell tons of plush. If you watch my plush videos, you will see Mercari, 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 Mercari. It's crazy. Um, I do have a link down below where you can get $10 to shop if you join with that link. And it's a referral link. And then if you sell $100 worth of stuff, on Mercari, you're gonna get another $20 to shop. So that's 30 bucks to shop and you can buy something to resell, right? Reinvest in your business with your money that you earn from joining with my link. Clever, right? Okay, pick this poster out of a ceiling, out of the ceiling boards of a basement and paid $2. You've got to look up people. This is a full-size vintage door poster. It sold for $146.84 shipped. Okay, this one comes from Farm Girl Scavenger, um, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, and she is a big money bolo finder, and she has the best bolos. I'm telling you, she sells the weirdest stuff. If you're not following her on Instagram, follow her there also. She shares her reseller journey with um, posts of her bolos, and I always love seeing her posts. They are they have got to take her forever to make. They are so incredible. But anyway, Big Money Bolo Finder, YouTube channel is amazing. Check her out both places. She's also a moderator of this group. So tell her thank you because this group is huge. 
Um, so yeah, this is a 1950s PSI Belgium Wee Santa Claus door display poster. Litho, litho, litho. It's litho. 72 by 35 vintage MCM. Oh, makes me think about the beginning where I said cutter instead of cuter. Oh gosh. Oh boy. This yarn was part of my personal stash and I have had it for years. The buyer was all in for $49.02. It's Bernat Casino Yarn. Am I saying that right? And then it's silver gray, lot of seven, same dye lot. I sell these frequently. I paid maybe 50 cents. This is also from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. I paid maybe 50 cents for this. Sold for full asking price of $69.99 and the buyer was all in for $85.59. These little boxes of recipes are pots of gold and really do sell well. I sold another one a week later and it shipped to Australia. This is what it looks like. It's a metal recipe box packed full of handwritten, typed, clipped recipes. And yes, these are Bolo's. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Kayhoff77. July Bolo was a vase we picked up at a thrift store for $2.99. Sold within a few days for $92.99 plus shipping. It wasn't marked or fancy, but interesting. Google Lens helped, helped us identify it. It's a Chinese cabbage bok choy butterflies with blue interior and this is what it looks like one last one here and of course it's a trash pick found a claim pile curbside that had a lot of maternity clothing and new to very good condition now mind you i don't like selling clothing but my wife suggested that maternity clothes might be bolos i lotted up the three pairs of leggings cross posted them at 60 dollars or best offer and after five weeks took an offer of 45 plus shipping on mercari if it's free it's for me this one comes from jersey shore thrifter and this is what they look like so it's maternity pants all right you guys that is it for july Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And um, <laughs> which bolo was your favorite? Uh, let me know down in the comments. I, I mean, it's hard to choose. There were some really, really fantastic bolos in this one. I kind of uh, didn't do my counts right. So there's not a ton of bolos in this one, but the ones that are in it are, wow, just incredible. So thank you to all that shared and those of you that would like to share, head over to the Facebook group and look for the Share Your Best August Bolo. And again, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. Um, videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and a video down below. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and let me know again, which one was your favorite Bolo. Thank you so much and thanks for watching. It was loaded with, um, I'm sorry, it loaded with, this is her eBay store and her. <laughs> I gotta plug my phone in. And we're back. Okay, let's start over. I have an itch. <laughs> Sorry.